Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually doing live audio. Normally I do voiceovers, but I'm gonna try live audio for this uh, project. Today we're doing a craft. I'm actually gonna show you how to create. These are going to be bow garlands. And how this came across was I was trying to figure out what to do for my daughter's LOL party. I wanted to add another accent thing. She had mermaids, unicorns, donuts, and cupcakes. I was like, LOL and hair bows. I could not find the hair bows that I wanted. So I actually bought some off Amazon and decided to make my own hair bow garland. This is gonna hang from the entryway. I'll show you the result later. Um, and then as you can see, this is the back of it. So you can see that these are real hair bows and then I'm gonna show you how I made these. I'm gonna make my own. And like I said, they're gonna be hair bow garland that's gonna be in the entryway of our house for my daughter's LOL birthday party. It's very basic supplies, hair bows, and then string. This actually, most of it got used, but this came from the Dollar Tree. And then a hot glue gun to secure the bows. So I always like to start, and then obviously make sure you have extra um, hot glue gun glue. You're gonna need extra glue. But I like to start with the cardboard. The reason I like to start with the cardboard is because it actually keeps me from, um, when I go to glue the bows on, it actually keeps everything from sticking to the table and making a big mess. Any extra glue would stick onto here. So that's why we use that cardboard. But first thing I'm gonna do is lay out my bows in the order that I want. So we're gonna go ahead and get these laid out. And I also try to lay, you see the back has the open side and the closed side. I try to keep them all the same way. That way if you look at them from the back, they'll make it look neater. So that's just me, but excuse me, I like to do that. So we're just gonna lay out. I'm doing a diagonal here to try to let you see as much as you can. Now that we have everything laid out, let me show you what you're gonna do. As you can look on either side, you see one, two, three, one, two, three. I go through the middle one, so here and here. So I'll put string on one side all the way through like that. So we'll do that one. This is the middle one. So we'll put it on there like that. So I'll go through all the way one side and put it on the middle, and then I'll put it on the other side, which you'll see. So pretty much, you just find the middle of each bow on one side, and you put the string through it just like this. Sometimes the string can play games and get a little tricky, <laughs> but it's okay. side done this is, I just take my scissors and then we cut the string and then we do the same thing for the other side so we have one again you find one two three the middle one is where you put the string in And the reason I like doing this way is because I tried many other ways and my whole goal is when I go to hang it up, I don't want the bow sliding. And I tried different ways and this seems to be the most, the best way that works for me to, but anyway, as you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest for you, you add it through the other side too. And 
again, make sure you stay in the middle one. Okay, I will be right back in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up going through the rest of these and then I'll show you our next step. I'll be right back. Okay, we are done. I want to say these hair bows, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. They actually came from Amazon, a very good price. I think for 200 of them, it was like $10. So I'll leave a link if you're interested in doing something like this or to see where to start looking for bows. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for that. All right, so now what I like to do, so as you can see, both sides are strung. But a couple times I would miss putting a bow in. So I like to kind of just lift them up like so and just make sure that the string is through every single bow. Because in the past, I've done some of these and I've missed and I've had to take them all apart after I started gluing to restring. And so now we have our bow strung. Like I showed you, we're going to go ahead. And what I do is right in the crease, I put the glue gun there and then I'll press. So let me show you. So we'll have our glue gun. So it's a, a crease right here. And I like to stick my glue gun right in there and go across. And then I take this string and then I push down. And as you can see, once that dries, that will actually seal the corner of the bow to the string, which will allow for it to not move when you lift it up because the corners are sealed to the string. And I thought about also, let me show you again really quick though. Again, I'll just take it and put it through and I pull the string, and this is why I do it because I'm kind of burning my fingers, but I pull it through, but I want you to see this first one. And then you press, and that seals the corners in really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down because it's kind of hot. But I had thought about using another string, there's like fishing string, that got messy. Um, although you can see this string, once it's hung up, it doesn't look, I don't think it'll look too bad once I actually hang it up. So, again, I'm using this cardboard because I'm gonna press on here. Like I said, I did the first one so I can show you. And then it seals in the corners so I can show you what it looked like. But I'm gonna do the rest on here so I don't burn my fingers. Just be careful with the hot glue gun because um, it can get messy also. So we're gonna, again, seal, put some right there. And then what I do for every one is I slide it and kind of gauge and then we press where I want the string, where I want the next bow. So um, I don't, I want them on top of each other, but not too far away and not too close. So I have to do my best. I kind of just slide the string, engage where I want it, and then I press down on the card. And then that way, the first two, you see, they don't slide, they're together. So we're going to the next one. We're gonna put the glue through there. Okay, and then you push. And then again, you go to the other side. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get these finished up and then towards the end when we're finishing up, I will be right back. Okay, friends, we are down to our last couple. So I'm gonna get these glued on and then show you what we have. All right, so here is Here's our ribbon garland. It's looking great. Like I said, you pick it up, nothing falls, you can shake. And then here's our ribbon garland. Um, I did a total of 10 of these, and then I will show you the results. Oh, it looks great. I have everything secured up the bows, and I decided to leave the length because this is how I made it, and I like it. And then I put up the bows and some LOL balloons in the corner.
Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified for other videos that are coming. Make sure you check out my other LOL videos and have a royal day.